G'day everyone, welcome to another review from Master Abbott from CapsuleComputers.com.au Today we'll be reviewing Bookworm Adventures Volume 2 Welcome to Bookworm Adventures That's right, as Lex says, welcome to Bookworm Adventures Volume 2 by Pop Hat Games Now this game is a word puzzle game it's very very fun it's a challenging adventure style of game which makes it more entertaining it's not just a find the word and then basically move along there's a lot of action and a lot of um, adventure to be had in this game uh, now what I'll do is I'll run through a few of the um, e little extras that you can see in uh, on the screen right now as Lex will point out to you there are that's right Click on options and options in there you basically you can change the sound, you can change the extra sound effects, you can make the cursor appear better, the, sound, uh, the show, the letter values, also make it full screen and disable tooltips. Not too much not too much options but they do come in handy if you want to play the game in full screen or also in uh, window which I'm playing it at the moment. Uh, close out of here. Next one is Hall of Fame. When you go into Hall of Fame, you pretty much can see the best uh, best words you've scored within different levels. So in the adventure mode, you can see what you've done and what how many um, words you've created. In the arena, the same thing. And also in the mini games, what your scores have been and what you've gotten in the in the, the mini games. That's pretty fun. Now the next one is. Tom of Knowledge. Now, once you... I'll quickly go into here because I'm not going to give away any spoilers. Uh, in here, pretty much what you can see, uh, once you've destroyed or once you've beaten a baddie, uh, or a boss, or any sort of character, they appear on the screen as you can see right now. I'm, the, I'm not going to choose too many, but as you can see, there's got a chicken there, and there's also a cow, a pig, there's other bosses like a brick pig. Um, they, you can scroll down and see how many you can uh, open up and unlock and once you fight them they appear on the screen so basically each one here basically has information on them like so he's old mcdonald and he's got powers and skills that he uses against you and at least you now know what he does and what he does against you when you play against him so that's the term of knowledge and the last one before i go into this full game is the that's right, the mini games. So if we click on mini games, you've got a lot of different mini games to play and have fun with. For example, you've got the Word Master, Letter Rip, Lincoln Spell, Word Up, Golden Coins, and Mutant Words. So let's say, for example, you've got uh, Word Up. You can play a quick game against Moxie, who's Moxie's on this side, and that's Moxie right over there. And you can beat her, try, make words, and try and beat her up the hill. For example, I'll quickly show you. So once you go in here, you'll be able to see yourself at the bottom of the hill, and you've got to make it to the top of the hill. And it basically tells you to create words as quickly as possible and beat Moxie up the hill. So when you start, you got pretty much your timed in a way because you've got to beat Moxie up the hill. So as you can see, you've got to create words down the bottom. You've got all this time down there. You've got to score up the top there with prizes. And as you can see, Moxie Rai, uh, gets to the top. Will probably get to the top before me. Now I'm not going to I'm not going to wreck it for anybody. But basically, that's what you've got to do. You've got to create words from the bottom part here, and from there you can basically move up slowly, slowly, slowly. So I'm going to jump out of that one and go back, oop, jump back out on and go back to, to quit the mini game and go into the full game. So I'm going to uh, back out to the main menu. Okay, now as you can see I've already played uh, with this character right now but I'm going to jump out quickly and I'm going to create a new character and his name will be Master Abbott. Okay, and then once that happens you pretty much go through the beginning of a story where where Lex is sleeping and so forth and he gets up and he wants to go train. So I'm going to uh, skip this. As I said, I'm not going to wreck anything for you. But in this first bit here, you got a pretty mu you're pretty much given a tutorial on what you need to do and how to play. And this is basically how you play. So Lex gets up and speaks to his little friend Stuffy who will teach him how to play. So as you can see, at, at the beginning you've got a character that you play against 
and as you can see there are little characters on the left hand on the right hand side that's you that's Lex and whoever you want to be now the way you create words is by select clicking anywhere on the screen that have to be linked or anything in particular you can just like basically as it says here click on play P L A Y creates the word once you do it click on attack and Lex will attack and he goes for it so basically then your the other character attacks and up the top as you can see you've got a health bar up the top and or well, the character, the, bo the baddie has a health bar and you have a health bar so you gotta make, sh make sure that when you attack make sure you attack with the biggest words you can because the more attack power you have the more damage you, the more sorry, the bigger words you create the more damage you will make so as you can see I'm gonna create let's say for example that one and you attack like that and then your other character, then the boss attacks and you pretty much keep on going so you, you then, if you type in whatever you like, you can type in the words. If you make a mistake, you can just click on the word and it will go back to the bottom again. So let's say, for example, I create a word like rise. Okay. And then attack. And you attack. And then he attacks once again. So basically, it goes back and forth, back and forth. S, I, sign, attack. And that's basically how the game works. Now it gets much more complicated, you get much more extra help along the way, you have extra basic, uh, extra option, uh, extra potions and everything as well. So let's say for example right now as you can see the, the, the enemy just attacked you and as you can see Lex is stunned. So from there you can take potions to help you, help you out. So down the bottom here you can see there are potions that restore Lex's health because Lex only has a little bit of a heart left on his health. So if you click on that it will give him back some energy. This one here will give Lex more strength on next attack. And this one here will purify Lex's grid. As you can see he's stunned and he can't choose any words. So once he does that all the words become open and available for him to choose again. And that's basically pretty much how the potions work. Along the way, you'll pick up extra items, which I'm not going to give away. I'm not going to give away too much, uh, too much uh, spoilers. But you can attack. You can use those. They appear down the bottom, and they help you with uh, extra powers or so forth. All right, so I'm going to just jump out of this right now. Okay. So that's pretty much the adventure game. The adventure game gets much more exciting and much more challenging. Now, as you can see, I've got another character that I just used before. Now, if I go into him and click OK, and I go back into adventure, I'll quickly show you the other options you can choose. So basically, I'm going to go into my treasure room. And as you can see, these are characters that you unlock during the game. And these options here on the, le on the left hand side are extra items that you can use to help you um, work, uh, fight against the baddies that you fight, that you, that you, uh, that you, see, that you know, that you come up with. Now up the top you've also got the health and, and that's it. So basically if you want you just choose what you want to take with you on your, on your adventure plus the third person which is your assistant and then you go on your little, then you go on your little quest and that's basically how the game works now as you can see this is a much more complicated section uh, this is a further down into the into the um, into the game I'm not gonna ch I'm not gonna wreck it for anybody so I'm gonna I am gonna jump out up the top as you can see once you do get stronger you get much more hearts the baddies get much more hearts they have extra skills down the bottom and then you also have your skills and your health bar down there too now if you do get if you do get stuck down the track you can also click on the scramble button and that will change everything but then when you do that the baddie gets a go up the top here where it says chapter 3 you sh uh, there's a progress bar which moves across once you get to the end you fight the end boss of that level and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna just jump out again take you back to the main menu and I'm gonna le let you guys oh I'm not gonna leave I'm not gonna say anything else but I'm gonna give this a rating and that rating is for Bookworm Adventures from Capsule Computers. Master Abbott is giving this a 9 capsules out of 10 because it's a fantastic game. It's great for the whole family, good for kids, good for grown ups, good for oldies, good for grandmothers, grandpas. It's a fantastic game. I'd give it a go and I will speak to you all, all soon. And so will X. Don't leave me. Yep, I'm leaving you. Have a great day and I'll speak to you guys soon. See you later.